Hello, this is Dan Pro. I'm going to do a quick tutorial here because I recently um, became aware of a bug that is in my train rig. So uh, I was actually uh, helping a former member over at um, BunderArtist.com with his train rig and I, uh, I noticed that um, my rig had the same issue. So um, if I just play my animation here, you don't notice anything uh, wrong here, but if I change my keyframes here just a little bit so my drive wheel actually reaches um, 180 degrees when I want to uh, this con rod here this connection rod that goes um, from the back wheel all the way across to the front as soon as it hits that 180 degrees I mean if I get to transforms here you'll notice that it flips backwards here so obviously this is not a good thing um, I never noticed this before because like I mentioned um, the way I had my animation set up for this rotation the drive wheel never actually hit 180 degrees and it's actually not even 180 degrees it's uh, one or two tenths of a degree here so um, anyways we need to fix it and I'm just gonna use this opportunity to uh, hopefully teach you a couple other things so um, one of the things that I haven't ever mentioned that I can recall is this um, relationships tab so when you have one um, bone parented to another there's actually a couple little check boxes here and I want to show you uh, why you should never use these so I'm actually going to use uncheck one of these to uh, fix this and then show you the problem it causes and I'll show you the workaround why you should never use these so let me get to back to my um, display here I'm going to turn off shapes so we can see the bones as they normally are without those custom shapes and let me go to uh, maximum draw type of uh, wire so I can see th through my bones here I've got a bunch of bones that are nested um, within other bones so this will make it a little bit easier and I'm going to turn on a couple other layers here so I can see the bones we're working with alright so first off let's talk about um, just clear everything out here let's talk about the parent-child relationships and some of the constraints we're using uh, currently so I have three different wheels here I have our main drive wheel and that is the one we're going to actually animate and then I have these two other bones for um, these other sets of wheels they're oriented the same and they have copy rotations um, to this main drive wheel so we have all three of our bones um, rotating correctly and all three of those wheel bones are parented to my engine main uh, next up we have our connection rod bone here local driver con rod .001 .r, and that is the one it is parented to our drive rod and it is also using an IK constraint to point over to a target over here which is parented to uh, the second wheel here and that is how we're getting it to uh, point straight across here as we rotate around and it's going to uh, because of the parenting it's going to keep this odd rotation point if I get it to side view here you probably see it a lot better it's got this offset point it's only going to stay there so uh, the issue here is as we're rotating this um, bone here because it's parenting it is actually it wants to point straight down because of the parenting but our IK constraint is basically rotating it back up to point across here and that is where the issue comes from if I rotate the drive wheel around here to about 180 degrees I'm gonna start holding shift alright so it's not flipping I'm at 180 degrees if I continue to go around it'll flip very quickly and what I want you to notice is it's still at 180 degrees it'll flip back it's still at 180 degrees and then uh, we're fine so um, obviously this isn't uh, a good thing here so we need to fix that uh, so basically, like I was mentioning, I think it's the combination of the parenting and also constantly having to um, point across there. So we need to figure out a way where we can keep this at that point, that offset point, when we rotate this wheel. Um, but we also need it to point straight across. So let's get back to these bone properties here. We can go into relations and we know that our Conrad bone is parented to our drive wheel if we uncheck inherit rotation um, this is actually going to temporarily fix this but it's going to cause another problem so that's why I wanted to show you um, this if I rotate this around get it close to 180 let's slow back down here you'll notice that the other side flips and this one doesn't so that fixes it but it also causes a, another issue here so I want to show you what that is um, basically when you when we uncheck inherit rotation from the drive wheel um, the drive wheel uh, it's not only um, not um, 
inheriting the rotation from the drive wheel. It's not inheriting the rotation from our main engine bone or our uh, main root bone here either. So if we take the main engine bone, let's just rotate this. You'll notice that it's staying straight up and down where this other one is uh, copying that rotation or staying relative. So that's not actually a good thing. So if we were to cock our train sideways coming around a uh, curve or something, I know we're not going to do it that severely, but um, the conrod bone and the mesh that's attached to it would actually stay straight up and down. It's basically um, the reason you almost never want to use um, these checkboxes is it destroys the ability for um, your root bone to work. So I'll show you how to fix this without using these. So let's go to uh, side view here. I'm actually going to delete my IK constraint and then I want to go to um, edit mode. I'm going to create a new bone that's at the exact same um, orientation and location as this. So do shift D and then make sure that our, at, our pivot point is at individual origins and I'll scale this down. So it doesn't need to be the same size, it just needs to be the same location and the same uh, orientation. And by orientation I mean the axes are the same. So, Alright, so this bone, our new one, needs to be parented, if I can select it, to our drive wheel, control P. Since it's only given me the connecting option, it's already parented um, with key offset. We can actually check that over here. And it is, it is connected, or parented with uh, to the drive wheel. And next I want to parent our conrod bone, not to our drive wheel, but I want to parent it to our engine main. Control P, keep offset. Now all that we need to do, if we rotate this around, you'll notice we have this bone that's going to always stay at that uh, offset position. We just need to have this conrod bone um, copy the location. Remember we're trying to isolate it from the rotation, so we're only going to use copy location constraint. Um, uh, to get that uh, location back. So we will select this um, target first, shift select our Conrad bone, shift control C, copy location, and now we have uh, a working rig that it's not going to flip here. If I get to 180 again, you'll notice that the back side should flip and this one won't. Alright, there it is. And something else you should probably notice is we don't even need to use an IK or a damp track or anything else to keep that pointing across. It's already getting enough information um, to do exactly what we want, and that is to stay pointing straight across those wheels. So that is the fix, and hopefully uh, I have taught you something else about these little checkboxes here and uh, the problems that you can run into if you use it. So, until next time, good luck.